Hi there. In this demonstration, we're going to see how to conduct a hypothesis test for, for the difference in two means, specifically with respect to independent data as opposed to paired data. And we're going to do this with Minitab. Okay. And in this particular demonstration, we're going to show how to do this when we're using the summarized data. In other words, we're not using raw data, but we're just using the sample size, sizes, sample means, sample standard deviations. And we'll do this, in, do this in the context of example one from chapter 9.2. Here I have um, 20 different men, right, um, diagnosed with um, high cholesterol, right? And these are the cholesterol levels for the 10 men that took no drug. And these are the cholesterol levels for the 10 men who took the drug. Now, fortunately, we actually have the sample mean and sample standard deviation for each one of these samples. So we're just going to enter this data into Minitab. All right, so before we do that, we're going to start with um, this sequence of events. So we go over to Minitab. We click the Stat button, go to Basic Statistics, and we're looking at a two-sample t-test. All right. And it asks us, well, it doesn't really ask us. You get to go up here and select either summarize data. You can also get the um, samples in raw data in one column or raw data um, in two columns. But we're using summarize data because we have it. And I've already entered this in. But notice what I'm doing. The first column is just sample one. The size is 10, right? There's 10 um, values in this, in this row. That is um, those men that did not take the drug. And then their, their sample mean was 263.2, and their standard deviation, the standard deviation of those um, levels was 28.5. Right? And then you do the same thing for sample two. There was 10 in that. These two sample sizes don't have to be the same with independent data. They are in this case, uh, but it doesn't have to be the case. And I enter the sample mean and sample standard deviation for sample two, and that's the group that took the drug. Right? And we're testing the claim that the mean for all men who don't take the drug is greater than the mean for all men who do take the drug. In other words, this difference, mu sub 1, the no drug users, minus mu sub 2, the drug users, is greater than 0. Right? OK, so I have that data, my summarized data, into my dialog box. I'm going to go to Options. This confidence interval is. Um, it's part of the output that you get at the end, but we're not really worried about that. We're worried about the hypothesis test. So the hypothesized mean difference is that the difference between mu1 and mu2 actually equals 0, and we're testing the claim that the, that the difference is actually greater than 0, greater than this hypothesized value. You can also, under this menu, choose a left tail test if you think that the difference is less than that up here, or two tail test. Right? But in our case, it is a right tail test. We're testing the claim that the actual difference is greater than 0. So I click OK. I click OK again. And what it does is it reiterates the information that I basically already put in there. It does calculate the standard error of the mean. Um, it gives you an um, estimate for the difference. That's just based on the difference of the two means. It gives us a lower bound. But what we're really interested in is, is the uh, t-test results, right? And we're testing that the mean is greater than 0. The test statistic right there is 2.47. But what we're really interested in is the p-value. So the p-value here is 0 0.012. Now, depending on your confidence level, you may reject or fail to reject the null hypothesis. If this was done at the 0 0.05 significance level, this would be smaller than the significance than the significance level, right? Our p-value is smaller than that. And so we reject the null, and we would be able to say, um, yes, the mean for the no drug, for all no drug users, is greater than the mean for all drug users. And so that's, that's good for the manufacturers of the drug. It shows that it um, has some effect, right? Um, but we get to all that just by entering the sample data. But in order to do that, you actually have to know the sample mean and standard deviation from each sample. And you might not have that. And if you don't, you'll want to do one of the raw data methods demonstrated um, in the next two videos. All right. So uh, test for two means. 
using summarized data, many tab. Pretty easy stuff. Bye.